Hi and welcome to today's Arch Capital update. Now the last six to eight weeks have been some of the most worrying times that many of us have had from an investment point of view, health point of view, uh, financial stability point of view for a very, very long time, perhaps ever. Uh, and that's difficult to go, go through. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty in the world and what we're trying to do is just make sure that you know that your investments are safe and that you're gonna be okay through these videos. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is just the emotions of all this the last couple of weeks of, you know, markets fall, um, there's, there's bad news, turn on the news and it's terrible, and there's every day there's, now there's, even though the situation in Australia is improving, will it come back, um, will economies fail, all those sorts of things. And so how do we invest through that? So it comes back to uh, one of my favourite sort of explanations of, of, of how we do it and how we do it for clients and and the safest way and the most reliable way and, and the best way we can invest through any condition whether it's good or bad because there's really two ways to to do it there's an approach where we could take bets and we could speculate and we could chop and change all the time and we could think that the world's different all the time and we could really uh, try to take advantage of that perhaps or or not now the problem with that approach is that there's not much evidence it works it's a lot more expensive, it creates a lot of anxiety, and the reality is no one knows. I don't know what's gonna happen in markets, and none of, none of these guys, no, neither does the press. So if you're investing based on um, a presumption that you are trying to tell people you know what's gonna happen but you really don't, then that doesn't work. And it's been shown to not really work. It's not reliable, it's not a great way to invest. Where we wanna invest, we wanna understand where returns come from. They come from the, you know, the asset classes we're in and we want to capture those asset classes as efficiently as possible. If we want to reduce risk, we take more money into cash and fixed interest and bonds and if we want less risk, you know, lower, lower risk bonds versus high risk bonds. And then we want to, I'd rather invest and, and I, I hope you agree that we want to use academic science and systems and processes to invest and make sure that we can invest successfully no matter what the conditions. And the only way that that can be done reliably is using this much more investment approach. Well, we're not relying on forecasts. We're relying on that markets, you know, they can go up and down and we know that stocks go down and really we shouldn't be in stocks if we're worried they're gonna go down. That's, so it's about asset allocation. And we wanna make sure we're well diversified, that there's a huge process and structure and science behind it all, rather than the alternative, which is, which is sort of guesswork. So when we're asked at the moment, um, you know, we use a lot of Dimensional and Vanguard, and we're asked at the, the moment, well, is that the right approach? Well, the alternative doesn't look too good, and it hasn't performed, and it won't perform any better in these climates than, and why would it? There's been no situation in the past that it has. So it gives us actually more confidence that we're absolutely on the right track, that what we've put in place for our clients is, is absolutely right, and it's gonna continue to be right. I can't see any, any evidence that that would discontinue. Um, it's gonna be rocky from here, markets will do their thing, but I'm absolutely sure that the process and the investment managers we use um, are the best place we can possibly be. So if you've got any questions, of course, always please call. Um, I hope you're enjoying these videos and stay well.